Yo, what the f Some weird sound coming out of it. Muchachos, es oficial 31 de diciembre. Juzguen ustedes mismos. Hi, I'm James Lafer and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And today, we're going to be analyzing the most mind-blowing, unbelievable, and scary videos of 2021 so far. Are you ready? Let's go. Recently, many videos have surfaced the internet of strange phenomena being captured on camera. In the sky. The thing is, some of these events have a very good explanation and some of them, well, don't. About a month ago, XRP Valley YouTube channel captured a very strange phenomenon. The thing is, XRP Valley has been uploading cryptocurrency videos on YouTube. This is the first time he's captured such event, which makes me think that this is the real deal. And whatever happened in this video, it's very difficult to say if it's a natural phenomena or if it's something else. Check this out. Look at that. Look at the rest of the sky, right? Look at the rest of the sky now, look at that one spot. What the, what the f is that, bro? That's crazy, just in lingering in one spot. That's f crazy. That's crazy, look at this. While driving down a highway in Pennsylvania, XRP Valley captures what appears to be a red light behind the clouds. It's very difficult to say if these are sprites, a light pillar, or something else. But it doesn't stop there. In Winnipeg, Canada, a similar but different phenomenon was captured by anime and published on Facebook and Instagram. Check this out. Oh my god, that's freaky. What the fuck is that shit? In the video, we can see something strange flashing just behind the clouds. Now it's very difficult to say if this is an unexplained phenomena or if it's just lightning. However, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life regarding lightning or thunderstorms. But I'm not too sure. Have you ever seen anything like this? In a video gone viral in New York, a man captured what appears to be a bright line just above him. And at first, after watching this video, I thought this could be some sort of spider web or maybe some sort of anomaly that was connecting one building to another. However, this was not the case. Whatever this thing is, it's not a spider web and it's not a wire, it's something else. A few weeks later, a man spots the same thing in Arizona and publishes a very similar video. This is what was captured on camera. So weird, what is it? Yeah, I'm recording it right now, but I mean, what? I mean, it, like you said, it's got like things coming off of each end, like strings, but. But, but even then, it can't be moving like it is. Yeah, it's one of the, it can't we, be suspended. We walk, it can't be suspended and moved. It would move over here, it can't be there. Whatever this thing is, it seems to be moving quite fast, and it left everyone just as baffled as I am. According to some people who saw it too, under the comments in the viral video, it seems that it didn't appear just in New York or Arizona. It appeared in other places too. So what could this thing be? And why does it have wired looking things connected to its edges? It's very difficult to grasp exactly the size of the world that we live in. The surface, well, we already know about the surface, but what about the inside? Just so you know, for instance, there is a cave 
Mammoth Cave National Park. It preserves the world's longest known cave system. Mammoth Cave is a limestone labyrinth with more than 400 miles of it explored, and the park estimates a potential for another 600 miles in its system. In other words, there is still a lot to learn from our inner world, and there are theories that explain that maybe creatures like the Bigfoot or the Nightcrawler may actually be coming and going using cave systems. Now, these are just theories. However, there is an amazing video that was captured by Leviathan, YouTube channel, of what's supposed to be a Nightcrawler. Here is what happened. Leviathan has uploaded one or more videos of this creature. In his first video, it seems this creature was found inside his garage. It seems it all started in Poland. Him and a friend started hearing strange noises coming from his garage. They went to check and there was a strange creature there. A couple of months later, he hears the same noise coming from the woods just next to his home in Poland. He goes to check out and it appears to be the same creature. When he realizes that it's something that he can't recognize, he runs for his life. Now, I'm always skeptical about these kind of videos, but I'm not too sure about this one. What do you think? Now, I don't know about you, but there's something really special about the rain, at least for me. The smell of rain has a very soothing and calming effect and rainwater is high in alkaline, which is good for your hair and skin and does not contain harmful minerals. However, there are situations when the rain can actually be quite dangerous. And I believe one of the most intense events pertaining rain would be a flash flood, which was what happened in Piauí in Serra das Laranjeiras, Brazil. There's a highway, PI392, and this is how it looks when it's not raining. There are two things about this highway that can make things special when it rains. And the first thing is that it's not paved at all. And the second thing is that there is a river that runs close to the highway in a certain point. And about 10 months ago, there was a flash flood in the region, one of the strongest rains ever recorded in this place. This is what happened. family was stranded inside a Toyota while they were riding this highway. They didn't have time to get out of there because the flash flood happened too fast. It was raining just a couple of miles away and they didn't see this coming. The thing is, they weren't the only ones that were stranded. But this Toyota was the only one that was stranded literally in the middle of it. And finally, when the flash flood ended, this is how the Toyota was found. Parece coisa de filme, né? Olha onde essa caminhoneta ficou, viu? Olha a tromba de água que desceu. E onde essa caminhoneta ficou, que tava com o pessoal dentro. Olha onde essa caminhoneta ficou. Olha a cultura da grota lá, onde os rapazes estão. A água que desceu e a caminhoneta ficou intacta ali. Sem nenhum arranhão. For some mysterious reason, the car was left intact with no scratch at all. And gladly, the people that were inside the car were safe. And this is how the highway looked like after the flash flood. Now, I don't know about you, but I do enjoy the rain. However, not so much when it's unexpected. The thing is, tornadoes and severe weather are common in some places around the world. <laughs> However, in other places, such as Brazil, not so much. But when bad weather hits, doesn't matter the place. One should seek shelter immediately. 
unless of course their shelter simply disappears because of strong winds. This is somewhat what happened in Vargin Alta Espiritu Santo when a very strong storm hit the area. Wemerson Santos was able to record it all, and this is what was captured on camera. Tipo aquele Independence Day, não é o. Caraca, mano. Deus, você vive do jeito que tu tomara. Deus que não, né? Olha como é que você vê, parece que tá vindo em cima de você. A group of people are having lunch at a restaurant in the mountains when they spot a very thick cloud coming right at them. One of them even states that the cloud looks like something out of a horror movie. And because in Brazil it's not that common for these kind of storms to happen, none of them knew exactly what to do, so they stood there watching. <laughs> The winds started to get stronger and stronger, but people were still enjoying their moment watching this event on the restaurant's outdoor area. Little did they know that this wasn't their typical storm. At a certain moment, the winds are so strong that the restaurant tables are being pushed aside. And to make it all even scarier, the person holding the phone can't seem to find his wife. Meu Deus, eu posso this is when neither the windows or the doors can hold any longer. Attempt to finding out where his wife was, the cameraman goes outside in a very dangerous move. Meu Deus! After he realizes his wife isn't inside the car and how dangerous it is outside, he goes back in. This is when he finds his wife, and luckily for everyone, no one was injured. What would you do if you were stuck in one of these situations? And have you ever been through a tornado? If there's one curious phenomena out there that we could say is a glitch in the Matrix, it's Stella Lansing's story. It all began in the 1960s, when Stella first saw a bright orb of light in the sky. Four years later, she saw the same thing. And this is when it all started to get very much strange. On the night of Halloween, in 1966, Stella had a terrifying encounter with a strange creature. Around 7.20pm, she parked her car facing the water of a nearby lake and saw a head bobbing up and down the dark, frigid waters of the lake. What she saw next made her run for her life. What appeared to be a humanoid creature came out of the lake and into the woods. A couple of years later, Stella was with a friend inside of a car. Both of them saw two orbs of light fly by them. This is when Stella decided to get her 8mm camera and start taping it. Now this is when things take a turn. Stella and most of the people around her started seeing things and every time that Stella took a picture or videotaped it, it seems she was able to capture another dimension with her camera. So this is when people around her, like her friends, therapists and others, started to realize that there was something going on. So they lent her their cameras to see if it was something with her camera specifically or any other camera and well, they found out that it was any picture or video that she took with any camera. By now, the media, researchers and experts were all looking at her and saying, what's going on with this lady? We have to investigate further. She started to draw a lot of attention. 8mm motion pictures are so small, frame by frame, that it's virtually impossible to, uh, to fake them without a sophisticated laboratory and animators. You'd have to run a Walt Disney studio to do it. Experts started to investigate further into her videos and pictures, and they found out that, well, they were real. 
and whatever was going on with Stella was the real deal. Now the question that begs is, was Stella having contact with aliens? Was she seeing another dimension through her camera or was something else going on? Now the surprising results of investigations by experts and scientists led to the conclusion that she was actually a psychic person that was able to change the results of pictures and videos with her mind. In other words, what experts came to the conclusion is that she was able to manipulate whatever was going on around her in such a way that the camera was able to capture it. The thing is, many of these pictures and videos that she was taking had anomalies in them. These anomalies, if observed, they were overlapping the frames and the frame edges in videos. It was like she was manipulating space and time with her mind. There was even one time where they captured a sound on one of her videos that didn't have sound at all. So what was happening to Stella? To this day, it remains a mystery and is one of the most intriguing phenomena that I have ever heard about. When we stop to think about something out of this world or mysterious, we usually look up to the sky. The fact is, the most mysterious place yet is the ocean, with 80% of it still unknown. Every year, thousands of animals wash ashore, and some of them, well, Let's just say that some of them look like they come from another place. Like this alien shark-like creature that was captured in Taiwan by fishermen who were actually surprised by it. They've never seen anything like this. After some research, they found out it was a viper dogfish, some sort of shark I've never heard about before. However, recently in Argentina, in Isla Escondida, Juan Agustin, who was having a normal day at the beach, stumbled upon this. Almost immediately after posting this video on Facebook, people were sharing it all over. Comments like, I've never seen anything like this before, or this is some sort of alien-like creature, were all you could see. The thing is, no one actually knew what the creature was, and needless to say, the video went viral very fast. Speculations that maybe it was a whale placenta, or actually a whale in decomposition, were the best answers that people could get to. A couple of days later, Shabut's director of Fauna and Flora, Fernando Bersano, confirmed that it was probably a mammal, such as a whale. Thing is, no one knows exactly what animal this is. In your opinion, are there still unknown and mysterious creatures out there in our oceans that we have little to no idea about? When it comes to urban exploration, one of the newest trends that has been scaring people out is Randonautica. Mandonautica is an application that sends you on a random adventure. All you have to do is share your location, set an intention and follow the directions to a random point that the app generates based on quantum calculations. Now at first people were skeptic about the application. <gasps> oh. However, TikTokers and YouTubers were being led to crime scenes. Shit. About to go in here. So we just found a freaking shoe. Don't know what's under it. And it was only after that that people started taking it much more seriously. I'm like shaking right now. Um, <laughs> this, this has got me freaked out. However, things were a bit different with YouTuber CJ Faison. Now CJ usually does Randonautica for three or more consecutive days until something actually happens. And as he states, normally things just don't happen. We're kind of ready. We're gonna go through all through the night and play Randonautica. We have absolutely had zero things happen. And that's the way that this app works. It just simply is. But the reason why we came to Florida is because we personally have seen some videos on YouTube that were like, Whoa. The thing is, in this exploration in Jacksonville, Florida, things went a bit different. It all started with CJ finding a coffee mug out of nowhere. This coffee mug contained a picture inside. It was what happened next that actually creeped out all of his viewers. Holy f the coffee mug. Look at that. Oh, Somebody just yell? It says something on it. 
Birthdays are better with friends. There's something inside of this, dude. There seems to be something inside the coffee mug, and in a brave move, CJ decides to find out what it is. However, things start to get creepier and creepier from now on. Check this out. What the hell is that? Guys, comment below if y'all can hear this. I'm running a mic right here, so that way it's more crisp audio. What is that? A strange sound coming from the sky can be heard. At first it appears to be an airplane, but if you listen to it carefully in the beginning of it, it sounds like a skyquake. Not only that, it takes too long to end. So what is going on here? Let me look at it. Oh, there's just paper inside. Oh, no, it's not. That's a... Looks like a ripped picture. Inside the coffee mug, there is a torn face. CJ then decides to continue on with the investigation, selecting a new location with Brandonautica. And this is what happens next. All right, so we're gonna turn left here at the light. We are exactly um, 0.9 miles away, so less than a mile away from our destination here. Jeez, what the f, the f is that? Oh, that's creepy. Dude, what the hell? Is that not a clown or is that a clown? Legitimately feel like somebody's watching us right now, but there's really no for, nowhere for them to be watching us at. At this point, CJ doesn't feel safe anymore. He feels like there's someone watching them. However, he decides to go to a third location with the intent of finding money. However, it isn't what he finds. This is what happens next. I don't know what it is. Alright, it's up here on our right. Alright, cool. Holy f shit, dude. That is someone's f phone, dude. That is literally someone's phone. What the f was that? Where is that coming from? Yeah. It seems Randonautica led him to a phone, which was ringing. CJ picks up the phone, investigates the area quickly to see if there's anyone there, gets back to his car, drives to a safe area to check out the phone. And this is what he found out. Let's just see how many contacts are in this phone, like who they are. They called forever, like an hour. The numbers calling in are private numbers, so CJ can't call them back. He then decides to check out the messages when he finds out that maybe he shouldn't even have picked up the phone in the first place. Conversation with Jeffrey. Need to talk about dishwasher. Do you have her? Can install, tell me where. Looks like that's a, uh, the hell is that thing? And then E that slash W C W ten seventeen confirmed. Don't scratch the st, st back before install. Going dark at three three seven five six. Period one zero seventeen. Wait one zero seventeen one zero seventeen. What the hell? CJ and his cameraman cannot make out exactly what the conversation means. Even after publishing this video, CJ has no idea what's going on. However, most of his viewers under the comment section left messages saying that this was possibly a burner phone and that the picture that he found in the mug and the clown and everything else indicates that this is possibly a crime scene. So in your opinion, what should CJ do and what is really going on here? 
now talking about strange things that happen in the woods. There's one strange occurrence and phenomenon that was captured by Luisito Comunica YouTube channel. Luisito Comunica has a lot of subscribers and he's a huge channel by now. He's been traveling and exploring different places for quite a while now and he's really good at that. And one thing that is curious about Luisito Comunica is that many of these places that he visits, strange things occur. Such as this one video where Luisito visited Bodhi in California, an abandoned town in the middle of the desert. And one of his subscribers noticed that when he was standing in front of a store, something was lurking back at him. Los que han permanecido intactos. Podemos ver que ahí arriba almacenaban té. Hay un maniquí, así que me da a entender que también vendían ropa. Y esta de aquí posiblemente es una máquina para hacer café. Y esta de aquí. If you observe closely, there's someone or something looking back at Luisito. It was something that was observed by one of his subscribers. And it's very difficult to say if this is a person indeed or something else, because to me at least. It appears to have glowing eyes. Now, there was one time where Luisito visited Chernobyl. And if you're not aware, Chernobyl was a disaster, a nuclear disaster that happened in April 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat in the northern parts of Ukraine. In this one specific video, Luisito visits many different places and the town is completely abandoned. Now, there are many urban legends that say that, well, people see mutated creatures and strange things that shouldn't be there, mostly because of the nuclear accident. The thing is, at 1 minute and 40 seconds of his video, Luisito was able to capture by accident a creature that to this day no one knows what it is. Check this out. Y demás comunidades dentro de la zona que fue completamente evacuada. Did you see it? It's something that clearly isn't a person and it's not a known animal. A humanoid creature maybe? Or something else? It's very hard to say. It's been a couple of years since people started reporting seeing strange lights in the sky. In some of these cases, there was nothing mysterious about it, like in New York in 2018. Do you guys see this? We're getting closer to what The strange bright blue light in the sky was actually caused by a power surge. However, it wasn't always a power surge. In Spain, for instance, a very strange light was captured above the clouds. There's also Leo, a Mexican YouTuber who is living in Japan documenting his daily life there, who happened to capture a bizarre light in the sky that to this day no one knows what was causing it. Curious about the mysterious light, Leo rushed to his car in hopes to find a better angle to tape it and maybe try to find out what exactly was going on. Unfortunately, Leo wasn't able to find out what was happening, but this is not the type of light we see when there is a power surge or something like that. Whoa. And Sadiq, YouTube channel, was able to capture something very similar in Venezuela. Check this out. Okay. El cielo está parpadeando. Es como como una luz que estuviera intermitente. Es demasiado y a esta hora de la noche más fuerte pero yo voy a, sub, voy a subir más y, y lo voy a grabar un poco más desde arriba sí. he climbs the hill just next to him the attempt to find the source of this light however it appears to be coming from behind the cloud what mysterious light is this and have you ever seen anything like it There's one place that's full of mysteries, strange stories, and myths, it's Peru. If you've ever been to Peru, you've probably visited some of the megalithic constructions that were built thousands of years ago. And to this day, some of these megalithic constructions remain a mystery. Who built them? 
and how did they accomplish this? The thing is, many researchers believe that in ancient times an advanced civilization might have occupied certain parts of Peru. Now the curious thing is that locals believe that part of this civilization might have lived underground. Now is there any evidence of such a thing? Well, YouTuber Gladys Cordova has been documenting some of this evidence and what she was able to capture on camera is completely mind-blowing. Located in Lima, Peru, a park called Amistad has been the focus of Gladys and it was there that she was able to capture some of these strange phenomena. Hay un grupo de chicos que están subiendo y empezado a brillar intensamente. In one of her videos, we can see what appears to be a ball of light hovering just next to a mountain. And on another video, still on the same place, she was able to capture what appears to be a tall humanoid, all dressed in white, walking down the mountain. The thing is, what's observed in this video is that this humanoid is at least two and a half or three meters tall and it has absolutely no difficulty to walk downhill. What Gladys did is she called some friends and told them to stand on the same spot this tall humanoid was to compare sizes. And surprisingly, this thing, whatever it is, is much taller than a normal human being. And to make it all even weirder, when this tall humanoid crosses from one side of the mountain to the other, a very fast object can be seen crossing the sky right into his direction. So what exactly is going on in Amistad Mountain in Lima, Peru? I'm pretty sure that at some point in your lifetime you were with your friends or family and someone started talking about ghosts. Now most paranormal videos out there are probably fake. However, some of them makes us question what the heck is really going on here? In this video, for instance, a security guard seems to be somehow engaged with something invisible in the room, as if there's something sitting in the chair just next to him. For a moment there, it's very difficult to say exactly what it is that's going on. However, when the camera changes, we can see that he's scared. He's no longer happy about it. There's something unpleasant that he just doesn't want to stay in that room anymore. This is when he runs. Whatever happened in this video, it could be legit paranormal activity. YouTuber Xiaolong Outdoors is a paranormal investigator in China and he has been going into some very interesting construction sites and abandoned buildings. In one particular video, he investigates the Liaoning old house that has been abandoned for years. He says that he hasn't heard any stories regarding paranormal activity in the house. However, him and his friend decide to do a Ouija board type game in the mirror. This is when things start to get strange. Is there They go into the house and at first there's nothing special about it. They try to communicate with spirits, they try walking around and there's no paranormal activity at all. When they go into a certain room, Shaolong feels a presence there. They find a box full of old clothing. This is when his friend decides to do a Ouija board type game in the mirror. They continue on with the Ouija board type game until they hear strange noises coming from the room just next to them. And for Xiaolong's surprise, when they go into the room, it seems that there is something inside the box full of clothing. This is what happens next. Oh, 
，操！哎哎，过来过来过来过来，老大了老大了这玩意儿。It seems that there's something inside the box. It could be paranormal activity or it could be just a critter. Then finally, when they get closer to it, a loud bang can be heard. This is when they turn away from the box and get out of the room. When they come back to the room, the box is open once again. His friend then comes with a piece of wood to try to open the box. And this is what happens. 拿东西，拿东西，别动！我走，走，走！我操！我操你妈的！给我咬了！这是拿那拿那棍子别！哎呀，这这这里边儿！我我招呼！有有有有有，给这里去去！有声。Mysteriously, there is nothing inside the box. Now, it's very curious because the first time the box opened and closed by itself, it could be my imagination, but I believe I saw a pair of eyes staring right back at them. Xiao Long and his friend are brave enough to go through the old piece of clothing, and well, this is what happens next. <laughs> They open the second box just below it, and there's nothing there, just piece of clothing. This time they go back to the other room with the mirror and they do the enchantment once again, but this time the enchantment works 100%. His friend starts talking to whatever entity is in the house, and it doesn't end well. This is what happens next. At this point, Xiao Long and his friend are pretty sure that the entity that lives in the house is the old owner. Now, Xiao Long goes into the room where the boxes was, and this is what happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm after seeing the reflection of a woman in the mirror on the other side of the room, 
Xiao Long and his friend decide to leave the house as fast as possible, and I can completely understand why. Whatever it is that they summoned wasn't probably very happy with them there. Now you tell me, have you ever played with a Ouija board, and do you have any strange stories of this type? And in your opinion, is this video a hoax, or is it the real deal? Now I have to say, I do not enjoy clowns, it's something that creeps me and scares me and I don't know exactly why. And if there's one place that I would not visit for a paranormal investigation, that would be the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. However, Celia and Jonathan from Paranormal Voyages YouTube channel did have the courage to go and do a paranormal investigation on the Clown Motel. And before I go on, I think it's important for us to understand a little bit of the history behind this place. The world-famous Clown Motel in Nevada was founded in 1985, and inside the motel lobby there are more than 2,000 clown dolls and statues. The place itself looks like something out of a horror movie, but even creepier than all of this put together is the fact that the hotel is just next to a 100-year-old cemetery, and many of the people who were buried there were victims of the mysterious Tonopah Plague that swept the area 100 years ago. Not only that, visitors and employees of the hotel have seen and witnessed things that they can't explain. Bears, and I can literally see two shadows just sitting right there. And they'll start playing with my bathroom doors. Like, I literally will leave the light on on the bathroom door and my door shut. And in the morning when I get up, literally the light's off, door's open. Sometimes I turn on the shower and they flush the toilet. So it's like... I was shaking out the sheets like normal and it fell perfectly normal except right down the middle there was like a body. And I just dropped the sheets <laughs> and walked out. I just... Did you hear any stories about the hotel? Celia Ramos decides to interview the owner of the hotel and while she's doing so, she feels something burning in her chest. A burning sensation that forces her to stop the interview. Um, can you stop for a second? Because my chest is burning. <laughs> Chest is burning. Right I just feel uncomfortable. Wanna go out a little bit? Yeah, I need yeah. a little air. Yeah. Where? Is there anything on my chest Where? anywhere? Like here? It's red. I had to stop. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I got like um, heart palpitations, real strong, and like I feel nauseous, and I feel like I need to. I needed to stop talking. Celia isn't feeling 100%. After the burning sensation, she feels as if there's something wrong with the place. However, they do continue the investigation and this is when things take a very strange turn. It is said that one of the clown statues that is inside the motel moves by itself. This is when they try to do an EVP session inside the room and well, it doesn't go as expected. This is when they decide to quit the EVP session, but they still left two cameras rolling. And this is what will happen next. Turn the spirit box off now. But I will tell you this, from, from what I've experienced tonight, you guys really have a connection in this room in this room, whatever else is in this room. You know what? I don't have uh, a connection. I don't have it. His hand just moved. Really? <laughs> it's down. It just f***ing moved. I just watched Whoa. Whoa. What happened there? Oh, 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 oh. Tell me. camera's rolling. Holy sh They somehow seem to successfully communicate with whatever entity is in the room. The question is, was it intelligent of them to do so? And what entity is this? Now just imagine you're at your home with a friend watching television when you hear something strange creeping outside. Now I've been through this situation and I know it's not a pleasant one. This is exactly what happened to Maddie and a friend of hers when they were having a good time at Maddie's house at night. They heard strange noises coming from downstairs so they decided to check it out. This is what Maddie captured on camera. I saw, I saw it and I heard it. It was like a weird screech. I swear to God, I saw something. What the hell is that? Oh my God, what is that? It was on the tree line. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my God. Whoa. 
What the heck is that? After capturing a strange figure walking in the backyard, they decide to go back in. But then, they hear something trying to get inside through the door. So they once again, go to check it out. This is what happened. Maggie? Maggie? Oh my god. Maggie? Who is the f- Oh my god. Did he just move? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he out there? Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. I'm not too sure if Maddie and her friend should have opened that door, and whatever this thing is, it seems to have disappeared out of thin air. It looked like it turned and walked away. The only place it could have gone is through this. What do you think happened here? Now just imagine the following event. You're in an airplane, you had bad food, there was a turbulence, everything's okay now. All of a sudden, you look to your side through the window and you see an object. But you have no idea what it is. It's not a plane, it's not a chopper, it's not anything like you've ever seen before in your life. Well, interestingly, this has been happening quite a lot in the past few years and to this day three of these occurrences have been registered on camera the first one was caught on camera by Kerry for rides when he was flying over the Aegean Sea and at first people thought that this was some sort of plane having problems with the exhaust system which later was refuted that maybe it wasn't Kerry what is that? No idea. holy crap don't move me don't move me One year later, Bilal Maksud's son, a famous musician, posted a very similar video on Instagram. And as you can see, the object makes a very similar move. video that went viral what appears to be the same anomaly was captured on camera check this out the cameraman didn't quite catch the object very well and the video doesn't do any justice to it but as you can see it's a very similar anomaly and no one knows what it is. There are a couple of things that are curious about this video. One of them is that it appears that we have two objects. The other thing about it is that it's doing the same move as the other anomalies. So what is this? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys again.